everyone, this is Jody. Welcome back to our two minute tutorials. Today we're gonna to talk about how to create the curved piece here for the leg and back of this chair. Um, I've already set my file up and I've modeled um, parts of this chair. I've got the seat and the legs and the front apron. I've also already drawn a curve here um, using Curvaloft to represent, I'm sorry, using um, Fredo spline is what I've used to create this curve that's gonna represent where our um, wood curved wood piece is going to go and I've created a square down at the bottom here that is centered at this curve here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this square here and we're going to move it in copy mode and we're going to drag it along the curve so that it it's always centered right there and as it goes up I'm going to just change the dimensions on it a little bit. I'm going to scale it out a little bit along the center here and out a little bit. Whoops along the center, not too much, just a little bit. And then I'm going to move it in copy mode again. And then I might scale it a little bit more, just depends on the shape and size of um, the piece that you're making. And then I'm going to just continue to do that. Once you've got all those squares um, placed along that curve in a way that makes you happy, um, you're going to uh, deselect everything, open up um, Curve Aloft is the extension that we're using by Fredo 6. We're gonna select the green or the um, curve there to be our, our rail, validate by clicking the blue arrow, and then we're gonna select each one of these squares in turn. We're gonna go in the center so that we get all of the um, perimeter at the same time. Get to the very top, validate, click the green check to loft along the path. You can change the way that the um, lines are interpolated by changing these buttons. The one that I had selected is the appropriate one. Go ahead and in anywhere on your screen click the mouse button to check and there you've created your shape. It's automatically formed into a group I'm going to reverse the faces and I'm going to unsmooth it a bit so that we have a nice crisp edge. Now it's a little funky if I'm um, not happy with the shape that this has turned out like up here maybe I needed to fix this a little bit but we can we can manipulate that by making the individual squares bigger or smaller or change their orientation before we do this loft but on the whole that's a great shape And go ahead and mirror it along the center of the chair and now I'm ready to create the back. Thanks for watching this two minute tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and if you have questions about any of my process feel free to leave a comment below. Have a great day!